Hmm. That shouldn't be there. Welcome back to VLANs part four. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to configure a black hole VLAN. This is a best practice security implementation, which allows you to increase physical security to the network. To give you an overview of the topology, on the right hand side, I have a malicious PC that is connecting to the network on interface XE004. And by default, uh, this interface is going to be associated with the native VLAN, which essentially replaces the default VLAN. But I don't want this unused port that's just open and available on this switch here to be available for anybody to just walk up and be able to connect to the network. And as you can see, this malicious PC has the IP address of 10.0.2.2. And corresponding to that, we have PCC over here, which has the IP address of 10.0.2.1. So if I hop on to this malicious PC and I attempt to reach that device, 10.0.2.1, you see we have reachability and we don't want that. So I'll go ahead and hop on VQFX2 to go ahead and configure a black hole VLAN. For this example, I'll be configuring the black hole VLAN on VQFX2 only since the only interface that we, we have unused in our environment in this example is interface XE004. Um, another thing to note is you don't want to allow the black hole VLAN across the trunk link. <laughs> we, we want to prevent connectivity to remote devices as much as possible. So with that being said, I'll go ahead and bring up VQFX2. All right, so I'll enter into the edit tier of the configuration. I'll just give it a show VLANs to see what I'm currently working with. We have the data and the native as configured in previous examples. So what I'll do is I'll create a new VLAN and I'll call this black hole. And I'll make the VLAN ID for this VLAN to be 50. And I'll hit enter. And I'll go ahead and associate that interface. Well, first thing, show interface XE004. I see is currently associated with the native VLAN that all ports are placed into by default. So I want to change that. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll do a delete interface, xe-004.0 family ethernet switching, VLAN members 100. And this will remove that VLAN from being uh, associated with this access port. So now to assign the correct VLAN, I'll issue the command set interface xe 004.0 family ethernet switching VLAN members 50. All right, so boom, that's one step. Just place this port into the black hole VLAN. So I'll give it a commit and quit. Now if I, now if I hop back over to the PC, now if I hop back over to this malicious PC and reissue the ping, we can see that the host is no longer reachable, but we want to take it one step further for increased security when implementing this black hole VLAN, and we want to disable that port completely. So in order to disable this interface and place it in an administratively shut down state, I'll issue the command disable. I'll issue the command deactivate. That's right. Interface xe-0 slash 0 slash 4. And I'll go ahead and give this a commit and quit. All right, so with that in place, this device is surely not going to be able to access devices on the network with that port uh, administratively down. And even if that port was brought up, it's in an isolated VLAN. And so it's limited in gaining access to the network and being able to see the other VLANs and sensitive traffic that's available in the network. All right, well, I hope you found this video informative. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for future videos. As always, thanks for viewing and I'll see you in the next one.